Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of The Daily Dose. I'm your host, PB, and today on the channel, we are coming at you thick and fast, balls deep action. We're going to be building our very first mythic hero. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Obviously, it wouldn't be much of a video if we didn't do some summons, but we're going to talk a little bit about some strategies behind that as well, what I would have liked to do and what the reality will probably end up being. But in terms of this, I decided to start the video with this lovely icon on the page, and that's a little bit of an announcement. I have decided to join the uh, Facebook community and create a page specifically for our channel. It's called Push Buttons Gaming. Hit us up with some friends requests. We will, of course, be accepting everybody that way. And that's pretty much so that we can start to interact with the official channel for Dynasty Scrolls, because I feel like we need a little bit more exposure in terms of personal interaction with them, and maybe they'll acknowledge our existence. But if you are new or visiting, welcome, of course. Let us know in the comment section down below how you found our channel, if it was through YouTube, Facebook, a friend, Discord. We do have a Discord uh, community, 160 almost. We are thriving, growing every single day. Don't be afraid to jump in and say hello. And of course, we'll see the OGs in the comment section regardless. But jumping into it, despite the good advice, and it is good advice, I decided to go ahead and do some uh, Mythic Summons previously, just so I could gauge how far I would need to go in terms of spending, because there's nothing worse than me spending, you know, 70 or 80 tokens and not being able to build the hero. So the reality was I did spend 70 hero, uh, Serene, se sorry, 70 tokens, not 70 heroes, 70 tokens so far in the mythic. Um, and the reasoning, and we'll get into that in a little bit as why I decided to go ahead. But I also went ahead and did the summoning here as well. 880, I'm trying to track down Lubu. Um, obviously, I want to get into six star. We didn't really manage to get anything decent in terms of being able to get the pull ratios, unfortunately. But back to this one. 70. 70 pulls. I feel like we got around, and I, I want to say, I want to say we started with 55. And we're around a 97. So we got around 40, close to 40, maybe a little bit more 40 shards out of 70 tokens which is pretty um it, it wasn't good it wasn't a good I didn't, I didn't feel like it was a good good uh good pull rate i was getting a lot of ones not a lot of threes unfortunately i noticed that i got a lot more um three pull shards like three three selection chests out of the legendary variety than i did the mythics i got a lot of ones and i'm not, I'm not complaining about that I, i'm just saying from what I saw and hopefully what we'll be able to see in a second, we really didn't get that much in terms of raw shards. So because we're very limited in terms of being able to actually um, purchase these for gold and save them up, I would agree with the general consensus to save at least 150 to 200 um just because that's probably where you're going to be able to actually make a full complete copy if anyone is new or visiting and wondering what the fuck this guy's talking about um you need 130 of these shards so you already need an extra 10 shards as well and the drop rates aren't terrible for the mythics so i can i can definitely confirm that the drop rates are better than the legendary as it says on the screen there's a 44.75 percent chance to get a mythic hero and of course the legendary hero shards are up there as well it's pretty much a 50 50 and of course you do have a guaranteed three every 10 bomb or every 10 draws but you do need to do quite a lot in order to get there and i think it states it if i'm not mistaken it actually tells you you need to do 100 uh, so in yeah, so you need to do 440 pulls minimum just by getting three. So that's that's your minimum that you would need to do is 440 pulls. Now, obviously, that's not necessarily um, the, 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 the true statistic because obviously you get more than three guaranteed uh, in a 10 bomb. However, 
I think they're just giving you the raw minimums there. So you really do need around 200 to get that guaranteed 130 shards, uh, which I think is pretty much where people's consensus lay. However, we decided to go ahead for the obvious reason that nobody is competing on my server, which is, I feel like, a big consideration if you're thinking about do you uh, pull the trigger or do you not? Are people actually competing on your server? As you can see, we don't have anyone that is attempting. We've got Israel, Vingado, and myself. And that may change. Obviously, there's a day to go. And in reality, if you're trying to bank on you getting the guaranteed, probably wait for the last few hours if you can budget in your time to do that and you've got a a steady amount of reserve <laughs> so if you know it's going to take you 100 pulls to get on the top of the leaderboard i probably would have those 100 pulls sitting there and just wait and obviously if that's your goal to be number one or number two then pull the trigger if you can do it if you can't uh maybe just wait for the next event however as you saw we've already done that we're very very close we're 20 shy so i assume the 43 that we will do here is going to be enough so we're going to grab out the mythic tokens there in reality for me to get the remainder and you're probably thinking your math really is bad pb yes i got to around 97 um shards from just doing the pools and of course the 55 from the celebrate festival now the reason that i have been promoting this though if you are a spender these are probably the best packages to get because that's what's kind of that's got me to the point where now I can safely say, okay, we can definitely build our little, little Lou. Um, essentially, these ones, in my opinion, are sort of a better investment, the daily shard packages, mainly because there's so much crap in there that if it was gold, I'd feel a little bit more comfortable spending but the reality is it's not gold. Um, and if you haven't already noticed, we do have a weekly pack that keeps coming around, which is going to require us to spend gold. So in reality, I, f I feel like if it's if these packages for God's blessing aren't giving me gold, I kind of want to go elsewhere. And I know that the... Um, I know the official GT Arcade website where you can purchase it, uh, the in-game packaging through that. Of course, this is through Google Play, which is accepted. But um, obviously, if you go through the GT Arcade, you get 25% gold bonus. So that's a consideration. However, if the package doesn't give you any gold, that really doesn't work out for me either way. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's jump into it. Let's see if we can manage to pull off a win. Now, the drop rate is 0.25%. Keep that in mind. If we do pull it, we are going to be very, very lucky. Now, we'll do a couple of solo ones. Oh, we did get a three there. Okay, that might have been the guaranteed three. Now, let's jump in there. Let's do the 10 bombs. If we do manage to get a full copy, I think that's going to be enough to get her to three star. All right, so I think we should be number one on the leaderboard. Can we get a full copy? <laughs> no joy, no joy in the full full copy just yet. So it looks like uh, essentially the only person to um, to pull anything is uh, old mate this guy Batsu, Batsu. My goodness, um, but at the moment we we're, we're currently leading the charge. That may change obviously if Ven decides to. Uh, spend big but i figured 145 that's enough that's enough for me we're going to go straight in there regardless pull you out obviously we made sure that that was the right one synthesize and <laughs> let's go now i'm not entirely sure who we're going to replace her with i at the moment i'm thinking it's going to be uh it's probably going to be Zeus the Ang. It's probably going to be. But notice that every single one it says exchange. <laughs> That's crazy. That is crazy. So everyone is basically saying you want to deploy him or her, sorry. Uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to swap out uh, Zeus this time around. I'm, I'm going to keep his level uh, as it currently is, though. I don't want to uh, mess things up just just yet, just in case Azir is a better slot to get removed. Um, that's the thing. 
This guy's got more consistent DPS than the other guy, whereas the other guy does rage debuffs and evasion buffs to the characters, so I'm a little bit on the fence whether or not, realistically speaking, I should do that. I feel like the Serpent Halberd will uh, suit you regardless. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So when we train her co-op, so what can we add there? Can we, like, add this guy? Ah. Assisting lieutenant level will be the same as main hero. And then you get affinities. Oh, attack and HP. Very cool. If I change that, what do I get for you? Does it tell me what the affinities will be? Oh, so the higher the aptitude and star level of the tenant, the, the more bonuses it grants. Ooh, so it does, it is worthwhile giving her, giving her a six star at the moment. Um, very cool. All right, so we're going to level you up. I feel like we've got enough to get you pretty much across the line. I may need to, uh, if I have to regress, I have to regress. But well, we'll see if we can boost you up a little bit further and then we can jump you into some combat. I'm definitely not going to have anywhere enough uh, of the training pills. So that's going to be another goal, of course. Now, if you know the answer to this, let us know in the comment section below. If I decide to uh, revert or should I say regress old mate uh, Zuj, um will he lose would they lose the power bonus because it's at the moment it's 25 percent. so i'm curious by the way is there a way to make this fucking quick enough tapping it is the way of course game but luckily it looks like we're gonna have enough tapper tapper fucking tapper all right i could just torture you all by doing this <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. All right, so we do need to awaken you too. Interesting. Very, very cool. So I need to do real Realm Beast four times and Treasure Hunt. Ah, very nice. All right, so Realm Beast. I don't think I've done any of you today. Did I do one of you today? I did. All right, so I can do... I can do... I think tomorrow we actually get X server, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? No, not tomorrow. I think it's the next day. All right, so we'll be able to do that in a couple of days and get her to uh, above there. And, of course, we're going to do the ruins. Oh, man. I really need more stamina. <laughs> Obviously, uh, this is this is really one of those little videos that um, by this stage, most people probably jumped out. But uh, as you can tell, we've, we've managed to build her. Is she going to be super duper powerful? I don't know. I hope she will be. I really do. Was she worth the investment? Time will tell. Tap, fucking tap. All right, let's go. Let's get you up there. Um, oh, okay. So I, ran, I actually ran out of the stones. That's fine. I may have to regress you, though. I may have to regress old mate Zoo so I can grab the stones. We'll have to see in a second. But now that I have that, where is my index? So my index, let's activate you. Oh, still not quite enough. That's fine. And now if anyone's wondering, there is in fact... The Warlord's Clash. It is awakened. <laughs> it's come back. Let's go ahead and see if we can do a couple of fights. And we'll contest out the Beast Realm. We'll see whether I can push Beast Realm as well. Test her out. So if you stuck around so far, let me know. Did you manage to build the one that you're after as well? Um, right. If you see me. <laughs> if you see me in here, say hello. I almost feel bad. Yeah, no, nah, I feel bad about this. All right, let's jump out of here. This is uh, this is a terrible uh, example. It's not even going to let me try and fight. Um, Beast Realms, however, will. 
They will indeed. Let's go to you. Now, I'm not entirely sure about my setup at the moment in terms of formation. Probably not the greatest. We're, we're just going to go with it. Let's just go with it. Let's see if we can get a W here. I'll be curious to see. Wow. They hit hard. All right, let's uh, let's get some silences on. Okay, all right. So she did do some damage. Obviously, she's not fully powered up yet. Um, oh, she's gonna die. Shit! Don't you die? I want to see your ultimate ability. Karkadin, get the stuns out. Don't die. Fuck. This is a savage. Come on. Ooh. Did you kill someone? I think you killed someone. All right. Well, there's definitely going to be some room for improvement. <laughs> getting absolutely fucking slaughtered slaughtered although she stuck around long enough just to die there it is a sad sad day indeed i don't think we're going to be able to clear this one just yet we did get close we may just have to uh upgrade her a little bit further and get the team up there but that was interesting so she does do some pretty cool ultimates maybe i'll um maybe we can try her out maybe we'll uh where is it Let's uh let's go and let's fight her again. Let's challenge you. I might uh I might not put her in the path of Dian Wei. I think that's probably a smarter idea. Let's go there for some silence. Yeah, let's let's try this. Uh actually you know what? Might as well throw in Savior's Blessing as well. Fuck, they hit so hard, those beasts. Hmm. She did crit, that's nice. We did manage to kill one. Very good. Can we stun them? Ah, oh, fuck. We didn't stun them. Ox. Sun Quan. No. Got the stun off. Now she's going to do her ultimate after this. Let's see if we can shred some people. Almost. Almost. Like, I know she gets stronger as the battle continues, so... Huh. She got silenced and died. Ah, damn it. Nope. Game over. All right, well, we'll come back to the drawing board there. But that was fun to watch, in my own humble opinion. I do like to see... I do like to see the old comeback later on. At least we know what we're working with. All right, I think we'll leave it there. But like I said in the comment section down below, it doesn't matter if uh, the general that I have co-opt is currently maxed out at 120 or can I in fact regress this guy and then um, invest everything in old mate Lou herself. <laughs> that way we can get her a little bit higher with the Meridians. Um, obviously, that would be the, the goal is to awaken her tomorrow as well. 
Anyway, I think we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching and the continued support. We are very, very close to 800 subscribers. Let's keep growing. Let's get to 1K and get that partnership going as well as some live streaming on YouTube. Of course, for those that are in the Discord channel, you have my absolute permission to go ahead and live stream your accounts. If, of course, you're using the proper security, don't give away any passwords or anything like that. Be safe, but... Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one.